Guess who got invited to the Law & Order Toronto Criminal Intent Cocktail Party? This bitch. Guess whose second thought was, ugh, 8 o'clock on a Wednesday. Also this bitch. What was my first thought? Three words. Holy shit. Today's the day. In four hours, I will be hobnobbing with probably the waitstaff because I'm an introvert and don't like talking to people. But today is the day. And I'm likely going to be woefully underdressed because it said cocktail attire and I don't own cocktail wear. I mean, my typical cocktail wear reads Elliot from E.T. And I don't have it in me to spend hundreds of dollars on an outfit. I'll likely wear one time. I'm not even the star of the show. Yet. This is my audition for Law & Order, Toronto, Criminal Intent, restaurant hostess who may or may not have seen the victim. I'll have it be known, if this isn't my first time acting, I was in a stage production of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves when I was eight. I played Bart the Huntsman, but my mom said I stole the show. Interior, busy restaurant. The detectives are interviewing a sassy and exotic 49-year-old woman who doesn't look a day past 37, nor does she look at all exotic. Action! Um. Stage fright. Take two. Vocal exercises. You're going to need to come back some other time. It's busy. Miller, party of two? My break's in 10 minutes. Meet me in the alley. Mr. and Mrs. Miller, right this way. 10 minutes later. Exterior, outside the restaurant. The interview continues. picture of the victim. Now I don't know this bitch. And scene. Thank you. I'm here. I just parked. We had two wardrobe changes. My original earrings were so heavy I was like a bobblehead around the house and I needed a purse big enough to carry flats for the walk back to the car later. Don't judge me. I haven't worn heels in four years. I'm like Bambi on ice today. So I just got home and what a delightful evening. Did you hear that? Come on. I could have worn flats. Is it cocktail attire? But there were people in jeans. I could have worn flats. I met a lot of very cool people. A lot of young people. Like I was talking to a guy who was born in 1993 and he was like walking and talking and shit. <laughs> what a world. There were a lot of pre-famous people, people who were going to be in upcoming episodes of the show. And when I watch it, I'll be able to be like, hmm. I chatted with you over a lemon filled beignet, which was de fucking licious, by the way. There were also a lot of like, oh, it's that guy. Where do I know that guy from? How do I know that guy? A lot of people I recognize, but I don't know from where I recognize them. And then the people I did recognize, including Karen Robinson. I invited her to my book club. She did say she is a reader, doesn't have a lot of time for reading, and regretfully declined. And I'm, I'm, I'm certain the regret was sincere. A successful evening was had. Every time my husband says to me from now on, have you seen my wallet? So probably the first and last cocktail reception I will attend, but just delightful.